guys hope everybody's all right yeah during the pandemic wherever you are god bless you man this is mustafa al-hatimi and uh, by the way subscribe to my youtube channel like my videos and share them help a brother out you know i hope it can help you too so today we discuss about espressos good espresso they say good espresso bad espresso and very bad espresso okay i don't believe in the idea of bad and very bad what is bad is bad there's nothing very bad simple but i believe that there is good espresso many people uh, i made a survey and many people that i ask about espressos they say we don't drink it i ask them why they say it's so bitter it's so sour it's, it's not it's like medicine okay so what i want us to discuss about is what causes your espresso taste awful like really bad and what makes your espresso taste amazing why do you go to other coffee shops and you taste an espresso and you be like wow this is the best i've had and when you come back to ho to your home or a coffee shop you try it and you make what am i doing you know that kind of feeling so one of the key reasons is understanding uh, the, the essentials of espresso brewing. What is your ratio for, for brewing the espresso? What is your grind setting for brewing the espresso? What is your time to brew an espresso? Okay. And what, what are the types of beans that you're using to brew espresso? Um, to my colleagues who said that the taste of coffee was quite uh, bitter, medicine kind of feeling and sour. Well, I think you're doing it, uh, it's under extraction. You're under extracting your espresso. What is under extraction? It's brewing that espresso really fast, like Usain Bolt, you know. I guess some of us have experienced it where you you do your espresso grind, you dump it, and then you put it in the powder filter and the group head, and when you press the button, it flows like, I make it rain on the holes, I make it rain, you know, it, it, makes, it, it, it makes the whole place rain. Like it's showering, you know. So that is called under extraction. And you're going to have that kind of taste. That awful taste. And to my colleagues um, who say they have had an experience of tasting espressos, which taste like rubber. Taste like they are burnt. Smoky. You know. They're not pleasant. You have over extracted your coffee i.e you literally extracted your espresso with at least at least more than 35 seconds or maybe even one minute you never know it's only you who knows what poison you've been serving okay so to make a right espresso and to taste it is to understand the fundamentals one what is my ratio to brew this espresso two what are my grind settings to do this espresso three what is the timing of my espresso extraction four what beans what roast level let's say what what roast level am i using okay i'll go in depth um number one What's your ratio? Some people are brewing espresso for, you know, double shots for 60 ml. I don't know who told you that is the right way, but whoever told you, you should look for him and sue him. 
because he's going to, he's going to put you in a shitty place in a very bad place okay and um, please sit down and study some stuff there is google man there is youtube there's whatever they are friends listen and don't be so don't be so political and just insist this is right this is wrong try to evaluate both of the both of the things if you like it 60 ml try to do it the way the other guys are doing and see usually i prefer my espresso to be one to two like a one to two ratio uh one gram of of of, uh, of one gram of coffee to two grams of yield. So when I use 18 grams for double shots, I'm expecting to get 36 grams of yield of care of my espresso. So I don't get 60 grams or 60 ml. I get 36 ml or 36 grams. Mind you, ml's and grams are similar. You know, if you scale 30 ml's, it will be 30 grams, um, and that's one. And number two, a right espresso at least should take, according to the books, at least 20 seconds to 30. Personally, I like from 24 to 29. Okay, 24 seconds to 29 seconds. I don't like anything below 24 and I don't like anything above 29. I like it in between. Because I feel like I get more balance and I get more, more notes, flavor notes when I do that. Yeah, so you guys should sit down and try it out and see. Uh, the grind setting should be fine, but not very fine. Okay, so try to dial it from at least the three steps from fine around there. Try to, to dial it there and try to use 18 grams and use 17 grams. Whatever ratio you are using, whatever grammage you're using, adjust them. But make sure, at least when your first drop of espresso, it comes within four to six seconds, at least. You know, don't overwait for the thing to drop. You'll wait for one hour waiting for a drop of espresso. Okay, so that that's that's it. Try it, and um, once you try it, don't forget to comment. Maybe I can help. And uh, you can also chat with me on my Instagram at Mustafa Al Hatimi. Okay, the same name on on my YouTube. Just put it on Instagram and you'll find me. Okay, so please try to do it, try to practice and let's share. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a blessed day and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Cheers.